How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. So, last time, we continued on through the class trial, and um, we figured out that Sakura's true cause of death was poison. Was me. <laughs> was me. <laughs> was me. So now we need to figure out who gave her the poison. So yeah, let's uh, do it. I hope it was Byakuya. No? <laughs> Remember overseeing the protein stuff. I do remember a little, little bit pains. of protein stuff. So maybe she me. took it to try and help with the whole bleeding head wound thing. But what was offered to her instead was a bottle full of poison. Even better, in my opinion. <laughs> and I already know exactly who swapped the mixtures. You? For real? Who was it? For real? For real? Evidence Ryuji revealing wannabe. who replaced the two materials was left in the chem lab for anyone to see. Yeah, that shows who switched them. It has to be me. The candy. Uh, what the hell? Shows who switched them. Pocket trash. Yellow powder. Oh. So the was in the chem lab, right? <laughs> that wasn't in the chem lab. Shoot. I mean, it, uh, I mean it was, but I, they're mean the footprints. I got it. Yeah. The footprints left behind in front of the shelf. You know the ones. That's the evidence you're talking about, isn't it? I visited the chem lab this morning. And there were definitely no footprints there at that point. Wow. They Thanks. must have appeared around the time of the murder, which leaves no doubt <laughs> they are connected. I am actually alive. <laughs> What's more, shoddy drawing. the footprints were in front of section A, where so, I found the bottle. Based off of this poison. map, you can tell that the bottle is as large as the fucking locker, <laughs> and the locker the is as large as the fucking footprints. The <laughs> Your proportions are incorrect. <laughs> 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 And given how clear the prints were, figuring out who they belong to will pose no problem. You're so smart. <laughs> I know exactly who it is. Right now. Byakuya, then we'll see show me your feet. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll see who... It was me. Oh, uh, he did it. Oh, uh, he did it. They're mine. Oh, well, case well, closed. Yeah, yeah, I was looking at this that Well, case fucking closed. I will take away your UI now. <laughs> if you're all gonna find out anyway, I'd rather you hear it straight from me, you know? <sighs> Ogre's killer was... Yep. Alright, that's the end of the show, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I did it. I killed Sakura. Just as I suspected. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you're wow. so annoying. <laughs> I knew it all along. You're literally were so by a pair of sneakers. No. There was no mistaking it. I called it. I'm basically a genius. Sometimes I think that my brain is a little <laughs> too big to fit inside my skull. It cannot be contained. Sneakers, huh? The only people wearing sneakers here are... Byakuya. You. <laughs> I would never wear something <laughs> like that. Not now, not ever. Well, how do you explain uh, this? <laughs> and what do you do with, like, track meets and stuff? My feet. Shoot. <laughs> Come on, Byakuya. Anyway. Leon. Oh yeah, he was wearing something <laughs> like that, wasn't he? Uh, does that mean the footprints came from Leon's g g ghost? Does that mean the footprints came from Leon's g g g Why'd, Why'd you say, you say it twice? It twice? <laughs> Why did he say it twice? What the hell? Why'd you say that twice? Why'd you say that twice? He's saying that. What's his... I don't know if his, his dialogue was slightly different there. I don't even remember how to access the log. I mean, I thought he just added ah uh, to <laughs> it. There has to be someone else besides Leon who wears sneakers. Huh. I got it. I got it. Me and Hina are the only ones. Oh, so Byakuya. That explains why you. Why you? These footprints must be. Makoto, are they yours? No. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> Let me see anyway. <laughs> Show me your dogs. Makoto, <laughs> that left only one other possibility. Just Hina. Damn. Plus, 
Tina's been acting strange ever since the trial began. You were in an awful rush to get to the vote, weren't you? This whole time, you've been focused on pinning the crime on someone else, haven't you? Yeah, someone I didn't like. Yeah, you. I... I can't believe it. Tina, what the hell? What about it can't you believe? Shut up. I know. It's just... The fact that you are still talking <laughs> to me. <laughs> That's likely exactly why it turned out this way. Because they were so close, Sakura didn't think twice about it when Hina handed her the concoction. Hina used that trust to kill her. She deceived the victim, and she tried to deceive all of us. I think she really just wanted to deceive you. I have right. to say, Hina, coming from you, this was a particularly nasty little scheme. Nasty little scheme. Well, Yo, you're a die. nasty little bitch. <laughs> if I'm gonna die, I'm killing you. Hina, is it true? Did you is really, it true? Did you do it? Sakura? And if you did, why? I'm just trying to think about what this why looked like in the booth. <laughs> Bryce being like, is it true? Did you really say something? I found her. There in the rec room. She was hurt. She asked me to bring her that protein drink. So but I brought her the poison and said. <laughs> when I went to get the powder from the chem lab, it just occurred to me all of a sudden. That I, I just, my true calling was to be a murderer. Yep, I just wanted to throw away the past three chapters. <laughs> Now's my chance to kill her. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> that's when you switched out the protein powder. I'm a and genius. That's when you gave her the poison mixture. And then she downed it all at once. And and then hold it. Hold it. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! What do you think this is? An Ace Attorney game? You're not about to claim she wouldn't kill a close friend, are you? You still don't get it, do you? The game we're playing here isn't so kind. Honey words like friendship don't mm, matter. Delicious. Friendship. I never had a friend <laughs> before. Outwitting the opponent, defeating them. Not a person alive would sacrifice themselves for another. We'll no, I think you. no one just no one likes you, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> like we'll sacrifice you. Like you don't get a choice. This girl sacrificed Sakura to save herself. I still like how her profile does not match. I know, she's like, yeah, I did it. <laughs> say that, but I'm still not convinced. How many times do you plan to repeat yourself? Don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying it because of some misguided sentimentalism. I've done all the heavy lifting these past four chapters, so why don't you shut your mouth? <laughs> but there's still that one unsolved yeah, shut mystery, your mouth. and shut I'm your not meow. convinced. Are you talking about the locked room problem? Makoto, you weren't given permission to talk. Hina, if you really are the killer, explain it. How did you create that locked room? I don't have to tell you anything. Well, that doesn't matter. Just because I'm guilty, that means I have to tell you everything? No, it doesn't. But the fact that you won't tell us concerns me. Surely you're not... Do you honestly think Hina didn't actually kill her? There's no way I was wrong. And if I do? Impossible. She switched out the mixtures. She's the culprit. There's no way you can doubt this. Sounds like you're getting a little rattled. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Even ignoring the fact that I don't want to believe it, just doesn't fit. What doesn't fit? My fist in your ass. <laughs> I mean, why would someone leave such a clear clue like a footprint? It's too obvious. Too easy. Obvious. He's right. Is it because it your brain is small? It looked like you wanted people to suspect you. That, that was... I was just nervous. So... I didn't notice I'd left a footprint. You want to put a little more emotion in your lines? Yeah. You didn't, <laughs> you didn't notice that you left like 10 <laughs> footprints? <laughs> It happened. Oh well. Listen, Hina. That's just how it be. Could you go into a bit more detail? Tell us more about when you switched the poison and the protein. No. <laughs> I don't want to. That doesn't matter. Look at my jiggling profile. It's like I'm pissed. <laughs> Hina, please. I'd like to know too. Please. Fine. Waste your time if you like. It's clear that Hina is the culprit. No, but okay. There's nobody else to suspect. Nobody else could have possibly done it. Go ahead, Hina. Anyway. Start from the moment you arrived at the chem lab. W well, right away, I went to section C and got the poison. And then I brought it back and then I killed her. And is that when you spilled the powder in front of that part of the shelf? Yeah. 
when I opened the bottle, I dropped it like an idiot. I see. Like an idiot. Okay, then. Go Pyakia, on. yeah, you sure did. <laughs> so then I moved to section A and got the protein powder. And that's where I switched them. Once I was done with that, I took the protein can that had the poison in it and left the room. But I accidentally put the bottle filled with protein powder back on the wrong shelf. T typical. And because of that, because I'm such a dunderhead. <laughs> and that's it. All right, Nimrod. <laughs> that story you that just told. told. <laughs> it's a crock of crack. <laughs> First, you went to section C to get the poison. Listen here, you knucklehead, McSpazatron. <laughs> get the protein, right? A wing nut. Uh, dork? <laughs> dork. <laughs> from section C to oh. section A. A knucklehead McSpazatron. I freaking love this SpongeBob movie. I know, me too. Yeah. You're just a kid. And to be a manager, you have to be a man. Otherwise, they call it kidager. Kidager. Uh, you understand you understand manager. Manager? I mean, I mean you, you understand. understand. <laughs> Fuck you, crap. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but that's true. <laughs> I don't remember that part of the movie. <laughs> Is that a little strange? Stranger things, you, you could say? Can you repeat that series of events <laughs> one more time? <laughs> What's wrong with you, Big Mac? You're being awfully pushy. Sure. It's the same thing no matter how many times you hear it. I'm going to fart on you. How long until you're satisfied? I'm going to what? <laughs> I'm going to fart on you. <laughs> I'm going to fart in your mouth. <laughs> how long? I hate you. Until we figure it out, dummy. Until I cover the full truth of this case. Before I uncover the full crock of that crap. Mmm. <laughs> I went to section C. Yeah, but no. That's when I grabbed the poison. And you spilled some of the powder on the ground in front of the shelf. Yeah. When I grabbed the bottle, I dropped it. Okay, and then? I moved from section C to section A. And that's where I switched the powders. Once I was done switching them, I put the bottle filled with the protein powder back in section A. Then I took the bottle with the poison in it and drank it and left the chem lab. That's all there is to it. No tricks, no gimmicks. Honestly, that's enough. How much longer must we tolerate this? Must you tolerate this? I'm sure there's something strange here. Well, he just told us doesn't freaking fit. <laughs> And you spilled some of the powder on. Yeah. Okay. And then. I moved okay. Into <laughs> no, you didn't. Because your footprints no. are only in section yeah. A. You dummy. You dumbhead. Break. Break your neck. <laughs> you said you went to get the poison from section C. And that's where you spilled the powder, right? Yeah. What about it? And after that, you said you moved from section C to section A to get the protein. But the footprints left at the scene were not moving from section C to section A. <laughs> I yeah, they were doing a little dance. <laughs> that contradicts what you just said. I levitated. What? Then maybe what? she moved in some weird what? direction on purpose to disguise her movements? No, that can't be it. Remember what Hina just said? I was nervous. I was just nervous, so I didn't notice I'd left a footprint. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? Uh, shut up. That's uh, what. Um. Well, well, well you see, <laughs> you lied to us. <laughs> Plain and simple. If you look at the footprints, your movements in the chem lab are obvious. The powder had already been spilled when you came in, and you went straight to section A. So you never went to section C. Whatever you did there, it only involved section A. Well. You see what, what the doofus? What the hell? What's going <laughs> what on? What the hell? What the hell? And the footprints aren't the only problem with her account. What? What? No <laughs> way, are you telling me I'm wrong? <laughs> I love when anime I characters specifically guys I'd do like the oh, what? <laughs> like they evidence. choke on their word before they like <laughs> say it. Evidence? Impossible. There can't what? Be. Are you sure? After all, you're the one that gave it to me. I did. You're mad, you're mad. It was hidden inside the bottle of poison you gave me. 
I'm amazed you of all people would miss such a vital clue. <laughs> I'm a surprised you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> but anyway, got him. <laughs> no, this is impossible. Just say it already. What is it you think you found? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you angry? <laughs> oh, a piece of glass. Eat it. It had sunk to the bottom of the bottle, and the hidden clue was exposed. Thanks to you ingesting the powder. <laughs> he was lucky that he didn't eat that. I know, right? Have solved the mystery without you. So thank you for that. Don't I wish you would have choked on this. <laughs> but, but what is it? Oh, you still don't realize? Well then. Well, see, so you are dumb. Makoto, why don't you explain? Oh my god. It? Huh? Me? Huh? <laughs> Fine. If you really do know, explain the meaning of that shard of glass. The shard of light blue glass. Kyoga found in the bottle of poison. It's obviously the record window, but let's leave the bottle. No, wrong. Check again. You should recognize it. Shoot. Shit. Um, <laughs> I mean... No, that bottle isn't broken, and the color and thickness are totally different. It just looks like a glass to me, you know. Shoot. All right, rec room window. Oh it's part of the window from the rec room door, right? Yeah. The window? To the window! <laughs> to the wall! The window we broke to get in. Till the sweat dripped blue. down my balls. Like <laughs> my nuts. So I think that must be it. <laughs> That's the extended version. <laughs> It must be. Of course, that leads to another question. How did a shard of glass from the window get inside the window? <laughs> <What? laughs> I, just, I read that in my head. Is, how did a shard? <laughs> <laughs> shard. How was that shard so powerful that it broke the glass um, to the window? How did the shark get in the bottle? <laughs> well, Biakia, for starters, you ate shard. What's Gross. <laughs> I hate that. According to what Hina told us. Where was the bottle poison? What? Where was it the bottle of poison should have been when I broke the wreck window? I don't know, in my asshole? According to what Hina told us. Hina said she put the bottle of poison in section C of the shelf in the chem lab, right? Are you sure that's what she said? Think harder. No, I lied. Shoot. Well, <laughs> actually, the wreck room locker. Are you sure? <laughs> Think long and hard. Think long. I got it! The bottle of poison was left on the shelf in the chem lab. That is what you said, right, Hina? No. Uh, um, and yet, somehow um, a piece of glass from the rec room window made its way into the bottle. Everything Hina told us was a lie? In reality, that bottle of poison most definitely found its way to the rec room. It was there at least until the window got broken. In other words, when the locked room was unlocked. There's no other way to explain the presence of that glass. Well, in calm that down box. there. <laughs> and then, a once too the excited. room was opened, the bottle somehow got moved back to the shelf in the chem lab. Meanwhile, the protein can we found at the crime scene was planted there. That had to be after the locked room was opened. In other words, after Sakura died. Wait, uh, hold on. You're moving too fast. I think we're moving pretty slow, actually. Right. I'll grant you, the bottle of poison may well have been in the rec room when it was locked. But how can you say the protein can was put there after the room was unlocked? We already know she was given the protein can with the poison inside, right? If that can wasn't there when she died, how did she get poisoned? You're right. We do need to explain that. But before He's so do, mad because he finally is like having an encounter that he can't here. understand. Yep. Huh? Huh? It has Door? To do and he just never understands there. anything. <laughs> <laughs> never. After Sakura's body was discovered, did anyone move it or trip over it or anything like that? Yeah, I kicked it. What are you talking about? Is this some kind of loaded question? Not at all. Just I'm about to load a gun. <laughs> well, no, not that I remember. Yeah, me either. Not me. I tripped and fell on it with my face. Same here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she did too. <laughs> okay then, that settles it. Okay, if Hina had said, yeah, I kicked it. <laughs> right. <laughs> that would have been it. Case closed. <laughs> oh come on! How can you say that? Come on, bro, bro's mad. No, what, what I don't know, know. dude. Uh. <laughs> How do you know what I don't know? Because you suck. The reason she could say that is because there's evidence. There's proof that someone brought the protein can in the rec room after it was open. E, 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 e. 
when it comes to that protein fan, there's not a doubt in my mind. Until the locked room was unlocked, it absolutely was, was not, not in, in there. there. So you're saying <clears throat> it wasn't in there? Someone <laughs> planted it there after we got the door open? No, no, that's impossible. <laughs> It, it had to have been in there the whole time. <laughs> He's so mad. It had to be. It was in there before the rec room was unlocked. But it wasn't. Dumbass. I like how you didn't even mouth. give them the satisfaction of going through the whole thing. You just were like, I'm going to prove you wrong. Yep. <laughs> Remember how there was broken glass scattered all around the room, right? Of course. It came from the window you broke to get in. What about it? I'm about to what break about face. It? Well... Those pieces weren't just scattered around the protein can. In my opinion, those pieces, pieces should have all gone the... down your throat <laughs> with the one you missed. <laughs> what? If only you got up. Oh, I love the that first sprite, time we though. see that sprite. It's such a good this one. It is. It. it shows that the can must have been put down on the floor after the window was broken. Uh, I slid the glass under it. So it had to be after we got into the room. Point. <laughs> I, I see. <laughs> Nice. That was satisfactory, I guess. I would have put it a different way. Kyoko, earlier when you asked if anyone had moved the can or tripped over it... If that were the case, that would explain the can being on top of the glass. So you asked everyone about it to eliminate that possibility right out of the gate. And that's made everything clear, hasn't it? <laughs> Asahina? Actually, I, I, re I recall kicking it now. <laughs> as long as it was a locked room, it only contained the bottle of poison and not the protein can. But once the room was opened up, they were switched. And as a result, the protein can wound up in the rec room and the bottle of poison returned to the chem lab. <laughs> if that's all true, then why I'm gobsmacked, truly. <laughs> I thought we all agreed she was tricked I'll into be drinking it because of the protein can. No, that's not why. I'm downright the bamboo. explanation is Born swaddled, even. she drank it from its original bottle. <laughs> the wool has really been pulled over my eyes, I'll tell you that much. She was alone in a locked room. All she had was the poison. What other possibility is there? You're saying she drank it knowing what it was? Such a ridiculous fiction is exactly what happened. No. <laughs> tell us already. Er, uh, sorry. Oh my please. Oh my thinking god. <laughs> please tell us. Before we get to that, wow. we need to clarify one other thing. We need to establish who exactly got the poison from the chem lab. It was Hina, Whoops. right? Oh. She took it and gave it to <laughs> I don't know if you're <laughs> that cold. What do you think, Makoto? <laughs> No, you're not allowed to finish your sentence. <laughs> Super busy laughing because I tried to take a drink of my water and I quite literally went like this. I was like, <laughs> when I got the poison from the chem lab and brought it to the wreck room, it had to have been me. Hero. What? Why me? <laughs> Why me? I mean, yeah, I smashed a bottle over her head, but I don't know nothing about no poison. I swear my crystal ball is true. Crystal <laughs> balls? That's right, it was only a glass ball. And that I swore on my glass ball. My broken shadow used this glass ball. You gotta believe me. Shoot. Well, stuff made me suspicious. That's right. I killed Sakura. Me. I'm the blackened. What does it matter who got what from where and took it wherever? Let's just hurry up and vote and get this wo wover with. <laughs> wover with. Yeah, no, it couldn't have been you. I got it. It was me. I think... <laughs> It was Sakura herself. What? Huh? So Sakura, who was apparently murdered, just poisoned herself? Well, what are you talking about? There's no way. <laughs> On the contrary, You're wrong. We <laughs> Correct. She went to the chem lab, right to the section full of poisons. You're lying. Stop lying. Why? Why would you lie like that? No, it's not a lie, you idiot. <laughs> Sakura definitely went to section C. Had to get Hina to admit it. Give it up, you fool. Alright, rhythm game again. See, here's why you're, you're incorrect. You're wrong! You're a liar! What are you saying? What are you wrong. saying? You're wrong! I'm telling you, I did it! Stop talking! You're a liar! Wrong! You're wrong! I hate you!
Damn, You're I saw. a liar! What are you saying? Wrong! You're wrong! I'm telling you, I did it! Stop talking! You're a liar! Wrong! You're wrong! What? What's right? Do you have any kind of proof Sakura took the poison? Proof? I'll show you proof. The powder. This should prove it. Oh my god, why would you do that to me? Hina, did you know that Sakura's foot Hina. had a certain yellow powder stuck to it? No. It did? It did. The same yellow powder that had been spilled by the shelf in the chem lab. That powder was yellow, wasn't it? No. So the powder we found on Sakura, what else could it be but the powder from the chem lab? Uh. Wait, wait, wait. So what was that powder doing on Ogre's foot? And it was only on her instep, right? Sakura must have been standing right there where the powder was spilled. So the person who spilled the powder by the shelf wasn't Hina, but Sakura. Uh. And when Sakura dropped the bottle, she dropped it away from where she was actually standing, which is how she was able to avoid getting it all over herself. But the powder still got scattered around, and some of it must have wound up on her instep. What if she just fucking threw it all around the room? <laughs> just started. But why did Sakura pay a visit to Sakura? <laughs> you know how, how confusing that would have made this? Just like, what the fuck was she doing? <laughs> After all, I like, there's powder all over the room. Taste. That means anytime anyone moved, there was a footprint available. <laughs> me, I, the poison. I'm the poison. I'm the, I'm the poison. Because, 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 because I killed because, because. her. No, you didn't kill her. The one that killed Sakura was me. Let me be a murderer. <laughs> the connection between Sakura and the poison, the unsolved mystery of the locked room. There's only one way to explain it. Well. <laughs> it was Ifumi. <laughs> you already know the answer, right, Makoto? Let's not drag this out any longer. Shoot. All right, guys, it was me. I did it. Damn it! I, I was having a crazy unique dialogue. Well, guys. Oh, never mind. I'm no health, but I can still do it. <laughs> the game's like, come on! <laughs> Where's your profile? Here's my answer. <laughs> Why am I still allowed to play? Sakura? <laughs> I don't know. Sakura it's like it tells you you lost after the death and everything. <laughs> I'm waiting for that. What? <laughs> what? Kimura was Sakura? Wait, so you're saying... It was Suicide? Suicide? I don't believe it. I don't believe it any more than I believe I can fly. I can't believe it either. Or rather... I don't want to believe it, but when you really think about it, everything matches up. Sakura went and got the poison. All right, she someone go get her body. We gotta kill her. Yep. <laughs> she drank it all so she could end her own life, and that explains why we couldn't solve the mystery I got half of the room. <laughs> How does that That's work? Of course. Monokuma Forster. How many times have I have to hear you all the way down there? <laughs> I would never, ever, ever, never, ever do that. If any of you say anything like that again, I'm gonna fucking kill him. <laughs> Hero, Mr. Hagakure, pay. Why me? I don't know why I'm smiling about this, but uh, do you have any idea how stressed out I am right now? Look at, him, look at my face. Anyway, here's your delayed death. <laughs> I was being nice earlier. <laughs> no. What do you say? I refuse to give up yet. You can't do that. But I defied death once already. Hina. Trails in your heater. That powder with yellow, right? Yeah. Good lord, it sends you back a lot. No, 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 no. Alright. It was Mondo. Here's my answer. Byakia. No, I didn't do anything. It is suspicious, though. He's a history of messing with crime scenes. Look at your hero. He must have done it again. Shoot. You know what? Yeah, Pyakia did do it. I got it. 
The walkthrough mystery was created by Sakura. I'm sure she locked herself in so nobody could stop her from doing what she did. She sat there, drank the poison, and breathed her last breath. And the empty bottle of poison rolled around the locked room until we came and opened it. Wow. At that point, someone grabbed the bottle and snuck it out of the room. And that was you, wasn't it, Hina? <laughs> you did it to throw off the investigation, didn't you? I mean... When we found her body, you stayed right there near the door because you already knew Sakura was dead and because the bottle of poison had rolled near the doorway. That's when you picked up the bottle, right? I was too shocked to notice anything and Kyoko was busy checking the body. And the more I think about it, the more I realize how unusual your actions were. Got to get him. There right. she goes. <laughs> she left. You said you were going to go get everyone else, but your real intention was to go to the chem lab and switch out the containers, wasn't it? No. <laughs> I don't know Once what you're you talking about. Chem lab, you headed straight to the section where the protein powder was kept. There, you took the powder and poured it into the bottle of the poison powder. you grabbed from the rec room. The powder. When you left the lab, all you had was the empty protein can. Thinking about it like that, the footprints make perfect sense. When you were done, you gathered everyone together. And once you were back in the rec room... Got I did a little on. dance. Ogre. Ogre. She I died. <laughs> While everyone else was focused on Sakura, you quietly placed the can on the ground. Honestly, you should have noticed. You should have been the first one to run up to Sakura's lifeless body. But you didn't. The Hina I know never would have left her side in a situation like that. So, Sakura committed suicide. In order to hide this fact, Hina undertook a series of actions to undermine the investigation. As long as you could disguise the truth, you didn't care if we blamed you for her death. That's why you didn't bother to get rid of such obvious evidence, right? The footprints in the powder and the bottle of poison? Vital pieces of evidence, and yet... So you're saying Hina consciously deceived us to make it look like she killed Sakura? She mainly wanted to deceive you. Yeah, literally. No! 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 No, 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 no! I killed her! I did it! That's enough, Hina. I did it! <laughs> it's not! Nothing's over! It is! <laughs> it is! <laughs> shut, so up. shut up! Actually, no. You're right. <laughs> okay. You <did> it. <laughs> we have to end this properly. I have to do my whole, uh, summarization. I think that's so funny. We have to do this properly. <laughs> Alright. Act one. The note. Do you expect me to go here? Hello? Act I thought two. that's a jazz for no reason. <laughs> Got to the record early and hit somewhere. In the locker. <gasps> Soccer came in the room. And then a hero came in with his massive hair. Want a candy? <laughs> yeah. Actually, candy. I'm allergic. You bitch. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta, I gotta pin this on somebody. Yeah, Joko. We got him. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> my name isn't Joko. Toko's like, oh my god. Is that me? That's why I'm huh? A joke to you? A Joko? <laughs> Actually, no. Toko drank the poison oh. instead. Immediately. Or Biakio was just in the room. <laughs> just <laughs> randomly. Alright, um... What did she do with the magazine? She put it on the shelf. Upside down like a dumbass. Oh, my head. <gasps> Honestly, though, this is definitely the saddest one in my opinion. Oh, yeah, for sure. More explosion of glass. Act 5. The fact that t Sakura took both of those blows and was still kicking I know, after. kicking? Yeah, she's crazy. She's like, well, uh, I guess if everybody wants to be an asshole, I guess I'll die. Hey, guys! Oh my god, is that Sakura in there? 
now Hina is the culprit, even though she isn't. And she left. Wait. What was not this switch the bottle of poison? The candy. Was that? Yes. The killer is you. This case began when Sakura asked a number of people to meet her in the rec room. <laughs> no, I didn't lay out. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that was trash. Wait, okay. One sock to and one other person. Oh, I'm an idiot. It was supposed to, it was definitely Gakia. I thought it was supposed to show Toko opening the door. Alright, Byakia, you fuck. Here's exactly what happened. <laughs> Try that again. Specifically, those people were Hiro, Toko, and Byakuya. But one of them headed out a bit earlier than the others. Toko. She got there one step ahead of everyone. What is this else gonna be Toko opening the locker or is it her leaving? Spot. Okay. Uh -huh. She found it. She crawled into the locker to get out of sight. Dun dun dun. Then, from inside the locker, she saw Sakura enter the room. Hey, hero. Next to <laughs> was hero. Hey, uh, candy. Sure. <gasps> Actually, what if this is poison? When he got there, he mistakenly thought Sakura was going to try to kill. Why would you be so nonchalant? <laughs> also, she's like candy. He's like, damn, she's gonna kill me. Right. Why? What? Damn it. <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be the class. I, I need to get the exact. Chess piece? Oh my god. How was I supposed to remember that? Alright, I need to go grab the other one. Fuck. Alright, sorry. My bad. It wasn't the knight. This one was the queen. Or king, or whatever. The killer is you! The most trouble I've had. Now, at least it starts with me. Without thinking, he grabbed a nearby Monokuma like got and hit. And she's like, what the fuck? <laughs> he his head off. Thinking he killed her, he hastily began covering up his crime. This would have been he the worst cover-up. from the table and forged a dying message from Sakura. To that end, he wrote down a name. I honestly would have put Byakuya. Toko. <laughs> By writing her name, that would have been so funny. Pin the murder on Although her. I know Toko's name is shorter, so it would have been easier. But of course, Toko had witnessed the whole thing. So as soon as the coast was clear... Uh, damn, I suck. <laughs> Dude. I was wondering if that one... That one looked weird to me because it's literally like almost the same exact image. Are you sure it's not the candy? I think it's the candy. Maybe. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, wait, no, yeah, the candy would make zero sense. Why did he come back in? <laughs> yeah, he came back in. Runs oh. away, holds it in front of Toko. <laughs> he walks in. Oh, I forgot this. <laughs> I forgot this. Man, my brain was not on. Hit the magazine on the shelf with all the others. But in her rush, she made one little mistake. She put the magazine back upside down. Idiot. Mm -hmm. I'm awake. Soon after, she watched as Sakura slowly opened her eyes. Sleep. She also saw the blood dripping Forever. on Sakura's head. This caused her personality to switch back over to Genocide Jack. See, what if Sakura never died? When she woke back up, she just wakes up. It's like, okay, what the fuck? Also saw the you both just clocked Sakura. me over the head. Literally. And she freaked out. And just like Hero, 
She grabbed another Monokuma bottle and attacked her. This explains why there were two wounds on Sakura's head. Assuming Sakura really was dead this time, she set about disposing of the evidence. She gathered up the broken Monokuma bottle shards and the queen chest piece. And that explains how Sakura was attacked twice with the same type of weapon. But even after those two blows, she was still alive. <laughs> so then, what was Sakura's actual cause of death? It was the poison that Sakura herself got from the chem lab. She turned the rec room into a true lock room scenario, and then drank the deadly mixture. And there, she drank she that shit dry. Breath. I don't even know how that would work. This powder that'd be really freaking hard to swallow. Later on, the rest of us discovered that her body was in there. We had to smash the door's window to get. I inside. felt like a badass in that moment, but someone already knew what had happened, knew that she had committed suicide. And that same Hi. someone quietly snatched the bottle of poison from off the ground. And while nobody was looking, replaced it with an empty protein can. They did all this specifically to place all the suspicion on themselves in an attempt to guide the trial to a false conclusion. And the one who went to all that effort was me. Mikado, what is this looking like an MS Paint drawing? Or does. at least was you, Hina. At least Hina's does. I feel like a badass. Look at my shot. <laughs> Why did you do it? That's the full truth of the case. <laughs> Sakura took her own life, and you claim to be the killer to hide that fact. Isn't that right? Yeah. That's what happened. But. Makoto, how did you how did you manage to how were you're you an idiot you weren't supposed to that even I couldn't discern because you're an idiot huh oh well I mean you still <laughs> haven't realized we don't all act according to calculations and cost-benefit diagrams that's what makes us so complicated that's what you don't understand and that's why you couldn't solve this case <laughs> see didn't I tell you when you dismiss other people's feelings It'll always come back to bite you in the end. No. 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 Oh my god. Okay, okay. I think we can all agree you made your point. Did you guys forget already? You still haven't voted yet! Oh yeah, that's right. You seriously forgot? <sighs> I can feel my energy draining out of me. Well, whatever. You don't really have a choice anyway. You just gotta do it. Maybe you don't want to, but please grab your lever and cast your vote! So, who will be chosen as the Blacken? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Biakia. Congratulations! What Sakura fucking fuck? killed herself. Yeah, that's right. The one who killed Sakura was Sakura herself. My entire Okay, we're done here. What, what did so you that's say? the whole truth, huh? I see. But there's still one thing I don't understand. Come on. Hina, why did you try to cover up what happened? If the truth hadn't come to light, you would have died along with the rest of us. Are you really that dense that you don't even understand what she was trying to do? What are you thinking? And yet you why did you do that? Don't be mean. Yeah, we almost died there. What is this? Stupid. Oh, I thought that that was the fucking line. <laughs> what the That's hell? exactly what I wanted. What? I mean, the reason Sakura died. 
It's because all of you punished, punished her? Pushed her into a corner. You, you all killed her. I didn't do anything. So that's why you I couldn't let her be the only one that died. What? What, what, what? what the fuck, what? <laughs> I know that's not what she said, but still. You don't mean. You were gonna take all of us with you? We have to atone for our sins. <laughs> because everyone, even me, we all killed her. We all have to pay for our crimes. What? For serious? That's Makoto. He's like, uh, I did all my free time. Oh yeah, I didn't, I was her best friend, so. <laughs> you still don't understand? Then let me explain. Do you realize just how much despair Sakura was carrying around with her when she died? No. Look at this. Such brutality has made me desperate. So instead of just waiting to be killed, I'll do it by my own hand. That's... Crazy. I found it on the ground, in front of the rec room. It's Sakura's suicide note. Wow. <laughs> suicide note? Thinking back, I should have seen it coming. It was right after Genocide Jack had attacked me. Sakura got mad and stormed out of the nurse's office. I ran out after her, and... Um... Sakura, calm down! You don't have to worry about me, I'm fine! I can't calm down. I don't care if I suffer for this. It's my fault, after all. But now you're suffering because of me. No forgiveness! You tried to protect me, not because of me. I can't Wait, what? Forgive but because of me. <laughs> my closest friend got hurt. Uh, Sakura? I... Because of me. My friends are all going to kill each other. This is all my responsibility. So I'll kill Byakuya. Sakura. Wait, yeah, you should definitely do that. But anyway, Sakura thought she was responsible. She thought everything was her fault. Which is why she wanted to find some way to get everyone to forgive her. So she asked Dibdi to meet we we to meet with them. Smoke weed with them. <laughs> you asked to meet with those three? You can't! Don't you see how dangerous that is? Don't worry, I just want to talk to them. And I could take them all in a fight. But Talk about what? My plans to kill them. Oh, um... tight. Listen, don't do it. If they all gang up on you at once, even you. Hina. One punch to Byakuya's head is all I need. Punch? Please, don't think of things like that. They're not my enemy. <laughs> <laughs> They're friends. Byakuya's not a friend. No, he's an enemy. He's not even an enemy. He's just <laughs> fucking scum. He's a, <laughs> yeah, a he's scum, scum of the bag. earth. Ew. I just... Sakura. I just spit all over my <laughs> mic. <laughs> Bro, you this is believe. disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll just... Ew, I just got done rubbing it into <laughs> the fucking... <laughs> in the freaking hole. The spit... Is it a spit... No, it's not a spit guard. I don't know what it's called. Well, uh, it's gone now. Anyways... <laughs> She completely believed in all of us. Patui. If you'd just talked to her, she would have understood. She was a friend to all of us. And yet? Why? And yet? <laughs> I thought, why did I think that he just hit her? <laughs> like, hit, hit also, you know, with a fucking bottle in the middle of this. Allie, what the fuck? <laughs> it's all your fault. Nah, no, it's not my fault. <laughs> You trampled all over her feelings, and then you did the unthinkable. Uh, um, no, that was just a no, misunderstanding. That wasn't me. <laughs> Don't stand there and call it a misunderstanding. She believed in you, and you wouldn't even listen to what she had to say. Without asking a single question, you tried to kill her. Do you have any idea how desperate she was, seeing you act like that? That's what her suicide note means. So instead of just want waiting to be killed, I'll do it by my instead of just wanting to be killed. Good lord. That's how far you pushed her. Sakura, what happened to you? Hina. Hina, you came. Wait right here. I'll help you out. Hina. Huh? I... I'm so glad I got to meet you. What's wrong, Sakura? Why are you talking like that? I have a favor to ask. Huh? A My favor? expiration date. No. Protein. Could I ask you to? Yeah, you got it. Just hang on. I'll be right back. Got him. That was 
the last conversation I had with her. I went to the chem lab to get the protein she asked for. When I got there, I saw the powder. And that's when I realized. I saw that someone had taken something from the poison shelf. Sakura. Sakura. <laughs> <laughs> so I ran back to the rec room as fast as I could. But by the time I got there, it was already too late. Sakura! Please! Bro! <laughs> Let me in! Please, open the door! Open the door. <laughs> Open the new door. Open the new door. Open the new door. Why? Why? Why did she have to die? Biakia, better question is, why did it take this long? Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> she had weaknesses just like any other person. If she got cut, she bled. If someone hurt her, she felt it. That's weakness. That's normal. And yet, why? you all blamed her. I tried to protect her, and I suffered for it. And that just added to the weight she had to carry. And I didn't even realize it. Ina. What? <laughs> <laughs> we killed her. All of us. We pushed her into a corner and we murdered her. Why? People like us shouldn't be allowed to live. <laughs> and that's why you tried to lead us astray. Well, you're a bit. <laughs> you did your best to make us arrive at the wrong conclusion during the class trial. Yeah, and you ate that up. Yeah, you dumbass. Sakura died hating all of us. I wanted her to be fucking free of all her regrets. But even they... Even they. <laughs> even they. But even that got found out. In the end, I wasn't able to do anything for her. I could never face her after this. Hey! Hey! I'm sorry to interrupt right when you're about to deliver the final tearjerker, but... Hey! It's just taking so long, 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 long. I'm about to fall asleep over here. <laughs> I mean, do you really think you have any idea what Sakura was actually thinking before she died? When she freaking died? What? What did you say? Hmm. Everything you just said is nothing but your interpretation, right? Your own opinion on what her suicide note meant? What are you saying? Well, of course I know what she was thinking. Cause her and me. In other words. Well, what I'm really trying to say is. Yes, indeed. Don't you think the entire foundation is shaky? What if it was really like this? What the heck? What is that? Of course. Isn't it obvious? Yep. A suicide note. Sakura's suicide note. What? But you know already. Too bad. Oh, I wrote that one. That was all me, baby. It's this is the one Sakura addressed to Hina and put in her room. Huh? What? Then... You... Huh? lied to me? I'm oh, don't say lie. It makes it sound so dirty. I just thought I'd liven things up a bit. Well, now, I can't well, help now, it if you well, totally well, took well, my well, scribbles now. at face value. Could you imagine? That's horrible. It didn't even have Sakura's signature on it. You filthy little bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not filthy. I didn't do anything. Did I falsify evidence? Did I affect the outcome of the class trial? This case played out between you and you uh, alone. You were the ones jerking each other around. Phew. Heck, even if the will had been factored in, it still would have been between you guys. Shing. So what's the problem? This is all part of the production process. Okay, and scene. Cut. And? So then, what did she write in her real suicide note? What are you gonna I'm do? glad you asked. For your benefit, I shall read it using my melodic, angelic, and harmonic narrator voice. Hey, hey. But you know, haven't you ever been curious about the whole suicide note thing? Who came up with the idea of leaving a note when you kill yourself in the first place? But hold on! Isn't it just so unfortunate? Killing yourself is just so final, you know? You can never hear the rest of their story. The truth is lost in darkness. It gives me the willies. Enough already. Could you get on with it, please? Die. Oh. Yes, indeed! Okay, okay, geez. Talk about a buzzkill. Alright, here we go. Hmm. <clears throat> My good friend Hina. Oh, wait. I mean, maybe I can do Sakura's voice. There's something I have to tell you. I hate to do it like this, but you need to know. This is my final wish. As you know, I've been giving information to the one who's imprisoned you here. <laughs> okay. Hey, I was expecting it to continue. It was our first night in the strange school that the mastermind came to see me. You see, the mastermind okay. took control <laughs> Just of my one. family's dojo and demanded I become their tool. <laughs> you might not see the... Okay. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> you might not see the importance of a dojo, but my family has watched over it for 300 years. I couldn't let it be destroyed under my watch. So <laughs> even if it meant my own life, I had to protect it. That's how I saw things. However, that was my greatest weakness. And because of that, I made the mistake of giving in to the Mastermind. And what the Mastermind wanted from me was nothing less than murder. They were probably worried that until the first murder had happened, nothing would move forward. 
but what neither the mastermind nor I expected was the incident involving Sayaka. At that point, the plan changed. The mastermind told me to hold off, to wait until we reached another stalemate. However, as I lived here with all of you, as I lived here with Hina, my resolve began to weaken. Watching everyone fight with such despair, trying so desperately to stay alive, I saw the weakness in my own heart, the mistake of succumbing to the mastermind. And more than anything, I cannot betray those who would call me their friend. That's how I came to feel. So that's why Sakura... I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. <laughs> of course, because of that, I decided to reveal her secret, which made everyone else hate her. Her decision to stay true to all of you led directly to all of you hating her for it. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? Or maybe oxymoronic? Or just moronic? Of course, I understand if you all hate me. All of this is because of my own weakness. I'm perfectly willing to accept whatever attack you may want to make on me. So this is my atonement for betraying you. That's what I had in mind. But unfortunately, that's not enough. This won't end with just me accepting your hatred. My own situation has started having an effect what the on the hell? <laughs> just, what the hell? exactly what the Mastermind wanted when they revealed my betrayal. My betrayal brought suspicion, disharmony. The Mastermind knew that eventually it would escalate into someone murdering someone else. Of course, I'm still responsible for that as well. I have an obligation to get this situation under control. And to fulfill that obligation, I've decided to do as the Mastermind has commanded. I will do what I, uh, as I told, and commit murder. But I've decided the one I'm going to kill is... Byakuya. Myself. If the Mastermind demands that I kill someone, then that someone will be me. Then my dojo will be safe, and above all else, none of you will have to kill anyone. When I die, the source of conflict among you all dies with me. For that, I'm willing to give up my life. If it can save you then sacrificing my own life could have no greater meaning. Whatever you think of me, please know that you are all my most treasured friends. I've never had people like you in my life. Huh? Then Sakura didn't feel cornered. She didn't die hating us? No way! She wanted to stop us from fighting? To protect us? Correct. No. <laughs> She didn't end her own life because she was weak. Byakuya, I knew all along. Oh my I god. I could read her heart <laughs> like a book. Quite the opposite, in fact. She was strong. Too strong. That's why she killed herself. She chose death for herself in order to protect the rest of us. To sacrifice so much, no normal person could do that. However... It was only her limit limitless <laughs> strength that made it possible. Is that your fucking computer? Yeah, damn, Jesus it's like Christ. <laughs> Finally, Hina, I want to apologize to you especially. The reason I didn't tell you any of this is because I knew you would try to stop me. I'm really truly sorry, but please don't be sad. If I can thwart the Mastermind's plans, if I can keep you from killing each other, that's enough for me. This is the path that I have chosen. This is the only way I have left, left to distinguish myself. And you can use this note to bring the class trial to a quick end. I'm so sorry to ask you to do something so unpleasant, but I have to leave the rest to you. Please talk to Byakuya, Toko, and Hiro on my behalf. I can't tell anyone about my plan while I'm alive, but I wanted to, you to understand why I'm doing this. In the end, though, I hope to show myself through actions and not words. Hopefully then they'll see. I never saw you as my enemy. You were only ever my friend, who I wanted to help as much as possible. Hina, whatever it takes, survive. Survive along with everyone else. No matter what, just survive. What? But, but... This is... I, I didn't understand how she felt. Not at all. I thought we were close and still... What are you gonna but do? But in the end, all her meddling was like totally pointless. Uh -oh. She died so you guys wouldn't try to kill each other, but you almost ended up doing it anyway. Uh -oh. Thanks to you, her death had no purpose at all. In fact, it was because of her stupid meddling that the rest of you nearly bit the big one. Too bad. She deserves all the blame. Everyone blame her. Go ahead, she deserves it. <laughs> now then, the next victim has been decided. 
What do you mean, next victim? Nobody here blames anyone. Huh? Huh? First of all, you're dumb. <laughs> you're Signal, wrong. You're dumb. <laughs> you're wrong for tricking Hina with that fake suicide note. And plus, Sakura's death wasn't a waste. Say what? Yeah. Because she made us remember. We're not enemies that hate each other. We're friends who need to work together. You know? Damn straight, I guess. This is all because of our misplaced hatred. Well? I don't blame her. I can't blame her. And nobody can blame Hina either. Oh, Whether or not there was a spy never really mattered. Because the one we needed to destroy is you, nobody else. What? What the heck? What? This is not how this is supposed to go. But anyway, are you sure about that? This killing game is a competition between all of you, remember? Hey. Your enemy is each other. He's abs- I still hate all of you. <laughs> He's absolutely right about that. Ah, oh, lovely Biakia, you understand, don't you? This is a life or death elimination match. The only way to survive is to win. There can be no doubt that those are the rules of the game. Which is why I am bowing out of the game. Wow, the first half-decent thing you ever said. Right. Huh? Naturally. Sakura and Hina were both willing to sacrifice their own lives to deny the reality of the game. Thanks to them, it would appear the others have cast aside their fear for this game. Don't make me There's no point myself. participating in a game which has lost that sense of excitement. Which is why I will no longer be participating in it. What? <laughs> What's going on here? Hmm. Now I have only one thing to look forward to. And that is to heap the harshest possible punishment onto the one who thinks they can control me. Piakia, does this mean... Don't misunderstand. I haven't been moved by some thoughtless sentimental sentimentalism, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Wherever master goes, Die. I go. And if the mastermind turns out to be a guy, maybe I can catch on fire. Everyone. Hey. Well, now you can say that Sakura's death had no meaning. <laughs> now now you can say it. <laughs> <laughs> How boring. Nothing good can come of this. I'm still gonna ha be the one having the fun time. What the heck? The fun time? <laughs> <laughs> no one's anyway, <laughs> let's forget about the good for nothing backstabber and get back on track. You want me it's to the moment you've all been guys? waiting for. It's punishment time. Wait, but Sakura was technically the killer, right? And she's dead. You're, You're not gonna... Oh, wait, my bad. <laughs> is it me? Wrong. Oh, heavens no. Just because the Blacken is dead doesn't mean I can just sub in whatever old student I want. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? I'm very particular about the Bear Times 1 rule. Listen up. But I spent so much time preparing my special punishment, it'd be a shame to let it go to waste. Yahoo! So for my special punishment, I've prepared a special guest. A special guest? Let's give it up! Punishment time. time! Oh my god. Who could it be? Rip. Wow, what's hey happening? Hey guys, we're... What, uh, what, uh, what's happening? <laughs> Does no one know why it's so quiet? I know. I'm buff as shit. I want to know why this was supposed to be, like, the punishment, though, the themed punishment. <laughs> <laughs> Did you imagine that, that was a person? I know, like... Like, they're dead after the first hit. Well, at least there was no blood. <laughs> I'm a ball. Well, hey guys, I'm a ball now. What the freak? You. Oh no! You suck, man. You just turned him into a mango hunk of junk. Phew. Yeah, that really took it out of me. Maybe I'll go grill up a blade of chicken. <laughs> After all, they say the post workout <laughs> grub, chicken's where it's at. And I'm talking all about the grilled fucking, you know, good stuff. <laughs> Fried, broiled, give me a break. The color, the smell, the succulents. Grilled is where it's at. Hated that. So, what I realize how dangerous it could be. But still, I have to do this. No, you don't. I'm scared, but I can handle it. I don't really understand why, but... But still... When I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You might think I'm just some inhuman AI, but it's true. So, it's okay. Uh, if it's for the sake of everyone else, I won't be afraid. Alter Ego's words raced through my heart and soul, and my disbelief gave way to raw anger. The anger turned to fury, to black and muddy and boiling over. 
It bubbled up through my body, quickly overflowing, shooting out of my mouth. What? How dare you? That was my friend. <laughs> my friend. <laughs> How dare you kill him? What's the matter? You were friends with a laptop? That's pretty pathetic. What's next? Friends with a basketball? <laughs> Shut the hell up. He wasn't just a laptop. He was my friend. It's not just a rock. And you killed him. Hmm. Is this what you call animism? Where like a soul dwells within all things, even like laptops? Hmm. Well, you can call it whatever you want. Hmm. Bottom line is, it got in my way. It was trying to find things all out, all sneaky sneaky. Just as I thought. So you finally noticed him. Actually. Finally? No, I knew about it from the very beginning. I knew Chihiro was doing something with the laptop, and I knew you were using it to analyze data. Yeah I knew exactly how it was going to play out from the, bleh, the start. <laughs> what? What are you thinking? You knew, and you were still cocky enough to let us take the plunge. Yep. Well, I mean, the data on the laptop, it was, I guess you could call it a gift from me to you. Phew. Or maybe more like a reward in honor of you being able to unlock something so difficult. Hey. So of um... course I didn't care if you got access to that. <laughs> just leaving me to the network was just too personal, so I had to do a little, you know, reformatting. I want to keep being helpful to everyone. You won't. I want to work as hard as everyone else so that I can get out of- Wait, my bad. So that <laughs> well, we I can, can get out of here. Alter Ego wanted to fight for us. He wanted to help at the risk of his own life. For that, he was killed. <laughs> yeah, the punishment time made me feel a billion times better. Very. Experiencing a meaningless death is so soothing. <laughs> it makes me remember that every low can get even lower. No, his death wasn't meaningless either. Everybody who's died so far. The deaths of each and every one of our friends. They all make us stronger. I swear to God, someday you will pay for this. Bum, bum, Holy bum, moly, you're super mad. Like, just unreasonably upset. Well. Okay, time to bring things to a close. Oh, but before that, uh -huh. I need to read the postscript. What? Postscript? Yep. Yeah, there's still a bit more left of Sakura's note. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Do I have your attention? Okay, then here we go. Hello. Prepare your ears for the dulcet tones of yours truly. Dude, what other thing, you know? Something I like to tell the others. <laughs> Hopefully we'll act as a clue to help you unravel the mystery of this school. What? A clue? Hina. I've spoken with the Mastermind off and on the whole time I've been here, and have learned one thing. Which is, the Mastermind has done something to us. I think what they've done is... Yeah Oopsie daisy, that was a close one. Another word, and we would have been hip deep in spoiler territory. Too bad. Okay, I don't want to ruin the, ruin the surprise, so book club is dismissed for today. What? What? Well, you can't just stop at the most important bit. It makes your brain rumble and tumble, huh? It makes you so mad you don't even freaking know, right? Huh? Guys? That's the whole point, stupid. It's to get back at all of you for hardening your resolve. No. Fine, but at least Sakura's note. I like I'd ever that. I like I'd ever let any of you grease fox have it. Grease fox? <laughs> <laughs> but. <Too bad. laughs> Sucks for you, loser. Oh, wait, what's this? What? What is it now? There's one last line in the note. Die. And let me just say this to the mastermind. I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you, you bastard. No matter what. And that's... Oh, and that's seriously it. Hmm? Huh. Wow, what a stubborn loser, huh? She won't lay down and die? She'll fight you? Hmm. Well, whatever. Who cares about what some dead musclehead has to say? Well... Okay, I'm out of here. Hmm. You guys should try to get some rest, you know. Maybe we take some time to reconsider how you approach this school life of yours. Are you sure you don't want to graduate? Can you really cut free from the regrets of the outside world? <laughs> think about that. Think long and think hard. Those were his parting words to us before disappearing. What was that all about? Sakura's final message. Her last clue to help us solve the mystery of the school. The mastermind did something to us? Kyoko said something like that before, didn't she? It was after Celeste's trial was over. What did you do? What did you do to my body? Who? What? Hey. Answer me. What did you do to my body? Mastermind did something to our bodies? What are they saying the Mastermind did? Tickle us? And it looks like we'll have to find out what the Mastermind did <laughs> next time. <laughs> so, as always, if you all enjoyed and want to keep the series going and show us some love and support, you know what to do. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you all in, in the, the next, next episode. episode.